A pro Ron DeSantis super PAC, ironically called never back down, is afraid that they may have gone too far in their criticisms of Donald Trump. And at this point, they actually wish that they had backed down. Here's what happened during last week's CNN town hall with Donald Trump, the group never backed down again. They're a DeSantis supporting uh, super PAC. <laughs> they sent out tweets during the event, calling out Donald Trump for various things. They called him out for defending the access Hollywood tape. They called him out for lying about his call to abolish the constitution, which he did do. And they called him out. What was the other thing? Um, oh yeah. Talking about pardoning Capitol rioters who attacked police officers. So all of those things were things that Donald Trump said. They're all bad, horrible things. Some of them are lies. And so the group never backed down was on Twitter calling him out for these tweets. What's what's in these tweets. So what's wrong with that, right? You didn't lie. I mean, I may not like the work that you do and the guy that you're supporting, but you didn't lie. You did nothing wrong, but apparently the backlash from Trump supporters was so intense and the attacks as members of the group say, just sounded too much like CNN and MSNBC that now they're actually starting to regret going after Donald Trump. The same guy who calls their guy a groomer on social media, posted the pictures of allegedly DeSantis drinking and partying with underage girls while he was their teacher again, allegedly. So you think you went too hard against that guy by saying, Hey, he's not telling the truth. Maybe you ought to change your name to always back down. That was not even a good joke. That was actually a Trump caliber, horrible renaming. And I apologize to everyone for that. I will do better in the future to come up with something more creative. But anyway, here's what it sounded like as SEMA four reported. Uh, this is from a source from the group who spoke to the publication or a source close to the group. It sounded like it came from CNN. And I think people inside realized that that was a massive mistake. And I hope it won't be repeated again. You have pro Trump packs putting out ads with that disgusting one. I showed a couple weeks ago with the guy eating the pudding with his fingers, making fun of Ron DeSantis, calling out DeSantis's horrible record when he was a member of Congress, wanting to cut social security and Medicare. And this group is afraid that, oh, we sent out three tweets that may have gone too far by, by pointing out that Trump is lying. Oh dear. Oh, DeSantis is screwed. Like, I'm sorry, if this is the best you've got, as your political action committee, that's supposed to be out there hyping you up and tearing down your opponents. If they're afraid that they went too far with a little tweets, a few little tweets where they actually told the truth, then you are effed beyond belief. DeSantis, <laughs> if you're too afraid to go after your opponent, if you've got internal struggle of, Oh no, what have we done by sending out three tweets? Oh yeah. May as well go ahead and pack it up now, bud, because you're never going to be president of the United States. If these are the caliber of the cowards that you have out there supposedly defending you and trying to take down your opponents, this is about as pathetic as it gets. You're literally afraid to tell the truth about your opponents because you think it sounds too much like CNN. That, that almost sounds like a badge of honor for CNN. Like we can't tell the truth. Then we sound like CNN. I, if I were CNN, I'd use that in my advertisements. <laughs> like, don't be afraid of the truth. But anyway, it is what it is. And the never back down group is really wishing that they had just backed down after all. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the fair and balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like comment and share, but again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen oh, not be so grumpy.